Death Prophet mid lane. He'll be left mostly unchecked early on. We're probably not gonna have too many big clashes until the mid game. This looks to be a very first stop. Universe dodging that. He gets five sticky napalm charges up, and it's not the right rune for him. It's a bounty rune. First blood may go to Universe. Up the high ground, he gets it. Oh my. Haste for jumping on to PPD. He's found that support silencer. And, oh, maybe can't bring him down here. It looks like the disarm proc still chases, though. And while that was happening, they lost Big Daddy, so it's a one for one. The Zai smoke works out on the two initiators. Zai at a 19 or 1500 gold. And then your Bat Rider for Universe, a little bit lower. Arteezy going in on S4. He splits at the last possible second. The Ghost returning a little while from now. I don't know if they can actually get this kill. They're going to try for it, though. They leave a stop at the ready. The drop down comes, but Zai, although he's there to counter initiate, he's too late. Really nice chain stun from Secret. And Zai just keeps on walking in. He'll kill off the Brew as the split ends. He probably pays with his life here. He does. Now the last one from Universe. Pulling Big Daddy into the tower, which is focusing him. And with the stacks up the sticky napalm, he's going to chase back the other other way, they're still not involving anyone else from EG. Firefly laid over the top. One more auto tag would do Big Daddy in, and there you go. So in the end, uh, pretty good wards. One near the mid, one near top, and they might get Zai caught out here. He's got his blink ready to go. They're wrapping around him. He shows himself with Standstorm mid lane. The San King already has his blink, though. It's not the biggest kill, but, well, they'll take what they can get. As Illuminate comes through, he burrows out. Zai will be run down. A nice pushback from Puppy there. Great use of blinding light. Secures the kill, that will give Simba his blink dagger. But it's a Sankey and already got his blink. And yeah, now Puppy's in trouble bottom lane. Fear just walks onto him and munches him. Easy kill. Maybe it's a bait. Uh, they do gush him. He's got an invest, but he doesn't no, he's not gonna be able to use it. Boulder toss will hold him in place. The global was too late from PPD. Far too late actually. Kuroki is slowly attack. working towards that battle fury, but this is all at the center top lane. We're gonna have a little go. Zai on S4 with no split to get him out. They counter initiate with Ravage. Zai has not enough backup, perhaps. Universe will come in and secure the kill, but they may lose more. EG underestimating Secret had too many heroes at the point of attack. The rage during the lasso, and then you get the kill. And it's before Arteezy's really joined the fight. He's not the most farm hero, but he is quietly getting there. And he will offer them a lot of late game, and they jump Dyer's in mid lane. Now they gush Zai again. Burrow strikes there. Kuro, at the same time, they're working on Kuroki. Lasso will finish him off. They're still chasing Zai. They got the stop off. They lose the anti mage top. They can't tackle the Scorpion mid. That's costly, and Zai goes back in. Arteezy there with the Sans a little bit late. Zai got a little overzealous. They're going to take it uncontested. Kuroki off farming with Simba close behind him. He has completed his Yasha, working towards the Manta. Tower mid still stands. It's in deny range, and they've got a glyph. I imagine they're going to pop it. Yeah, there's a glyph. While at the same time, Zai comes in. He's got a Burrow Strike. It best bomb, and Kuroki, even with the Force Death, going down again. A Force Death for him. That and now they're chasing the in. Without Rage, without loss. Abyssal, too, on Life Stealer. So they have tons of overkill for him. And they're going to find more here. Puppy gets lassoed. At the same time, S4, barely able to TP out. Puppy will be dead for sure. And actually, it seems like the bleeding may end there for this engagement. No, maybe not. Big Daddy being pursued out. Zai with a Burrow Strike already ready. He heads to the left. Big Daddy heads straight south. But with an Open Wounds Abyssal, yeah, that's a dead Big Daddy. Doesn't even use the active. He just right clicks him. under attack.
and Hiroki is only pushing the bottom, which is not near the base. He's going to have to come defend, doesn't have a teleport scroll. Arteezy will immediately feel that sense of urgency and look to break high ground. They pull in Puppy, bursting from Zai whiffs because they pulled Puppy in so far. The air splitter connects, dropping universe low. This forces out a buyback from the Keeper of the Light. At the same time, assassination on the backside. And they burrow strike as a global to follow that up. Kuroki gets four steps away. The ghost pound into him, though. He will end up dropping. Oh. And that is leaving him with a buyback. He'll use it immediately. <laughs> as they chase forward, looking for chance. They lost their bat rider. They also lost the death profit. Exploded towards the end of that fight for the tide hunter. And now they push PPD back in. He'll drop two. This was after a life stealer. They should have been able to retain map control, but Secret outplaying them again in this top area, which is exactly what they did in first. Oh, they Secret. found Kuro, though. No buyback. They munch into him enough. He's low. He ends up manting. They get off their global, but they still lost their anti-mage. Ravage number one was used. They've got a second. They're just going to keep on trying to fight this one out. The life stealer is low as well. Both carries die back. Who can win from here? There's a secondary carry on EG and Arteezy. He's holding his BKB. He's holding his ultimate for now. And everybody on Secret scatters as this Bruce split wears down. Man, a double dieback on the two carries. Yeah, this could that, go a lot longer. A long last anti-mage has caught up to full life stealer. There's a dire observer ward here that lost gem from earlier. Might come back to haunt them. I'm not sure if they saw the actual smoke, but EG are generally in position. They match the monolink. There's an instant ravage. Arteezy BKB dodge, but PPD had no solution for it. Now they go with the Epi. Four step forward. Commitment for Kuroki. And they get the lasso. Can they kill him off? He's going to be dead for at least another minute before his buyback. 45 seconds. Now they chase forward. They've used one ravage. They don't really have too much left in the tank. Arteezy now turns in, in rage against S4 and tries to finish him off with a ghost. Slowly. Not so slowly any longer, working on that Earth Pan, even popping to Shiva's guard. But S4 returns, oh, too late. He couldn't blink out in time. He's still being kited and controlled, and EG finally find that team fight. And it came without a global silence. And they've got an Observer Ward to cover them. That won't help you when Arteezy rumbles in. And backup is inbound for PPD. He's going to be the one to reveal them. He's got a global. They're not using it. They pop their Shiva's guard. I'm not sure if they actually got eyeballs on that, but they have a general idea of where Secret are. The, the smoke broke. PPD will be instantly assassinated. He does not have buyback. That means no global for this fight. But they found Big Daddy on the back lane. Not the most important hero. Now the BKB from Fear. Kuroki's going to focus him with an abyssal. The counter abyssal comes out. Arteezy into the tree line. Finishes off Big Daddy. The earth splitter ends. Now the Ravage on Fear. That's your Ravage number one. Look for Ravage number two, if you must. On the University, Lasso Kuroki, but they're still not killing him. They're ignoring this anti-mage who's running rampant in the team fight. Kuroki's just trying to decide who his next target is. Now they're going to Yules him. Arteezy heads to the high ground, and Kuroki leaps in. Mana Void is ready. He's got a Mantle style too. Does he focus buildings? Let's see. He gets hexed. They've got a secondary exorcism. Will they use it? Shivas? They're just staggering the retreat. Kuroki continues to be at half health through everything. He's not even going to use Exorcism. He gets forced to have to weigh. The Abyssal Blade's down in nine seconds. Mana Void almost finished off Universe. Kuroki though gets hexed. Then they turn on him. They silence him. They might finally bring this damn anti-mage down. Still silent. So freaking tanky. They got him. They get four in the end. They deploy an exorcism on the high ground. Fly waits for his opening. And in comes Secret right now. Global finally used at a decent time. Will force Secret back. And they turn onto Kuroki. Remember, he still has the buyback, though. Didn't have to use it in the last fight. The epicenter comes through. Zai comes skating in. But the Ravage is there. Ravage 1 is pretty good. Blocking down the back lines. Arteezy now has to fight against the entirety of Secret. He's on the retreat out. Up to the high ground will go. Slow down. One bash will be his downfall. Mind Void will be his downfall. Forget about the bashes. Now onto Fear. Kuro, no, Basho gets Kuro, now he gets Fear, he goes down, the triple for Kuro. Four heroes dead. S4 is just chilling in the tire base. He's basically just using the futon for free. Fear still hunting, desperate to get a range for someone. They did burrow straight Kuroki, they cornered him. Remember, even if he dies here, he has buyback anyway. But he just turns around and starts walking at Universe without boots. Blake in, Insta Abyssal Blade, and that's another kill. Again, they lose one. The Ravage connects on two. The Anti-Mage is not going for this, though. Kuroki is slowly but surely throning it. Tier fours to fall. One down, second next. PPD will go Scepter Monovoy, GG! EG 
can convert on a massive early game advantage. And the Kuroki anti-mage again come through at the end. He ends this game as a Godzilla AM. 42k net worth. Who needs boots when you've got six damage items? Wow. I'm still ever surprised by Secret's mid to late game teamwork. Uh, Kiro's escapes, the mass four staffs to keep him safe, the blinding lights, the stomps. I mean, they did everything they could to...